Este... Eh, is it still going smooth, though? All right. First off, I want to delete my character here, and we're going to start her fresh. The one thing you can't do in Demon Souls Remake is delete a damn character. All right. Oh, I'm so fucking happy I fixed it. So, Rumble, go to your action. Um, check under Hardware Acceleration. And check to see what options you have for your laptop. It's going to be different than mine. But it, um, usually I had it at disabled. But I went to the first option that it showed. That's the first thing that I changed. And the second one was... Um, I can't remember what it is. So I'm going to have to tell Rumble in the um, Discord. But it was something that was set to high... And I changed it to normal. And that's what's fixing it right now. I think it had something to do with the memory. But yeah, I fucking fixed it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. So we're, 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 we're going we're to play some old school Damon Souls. We we gonna do this. We gonna do this, man. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're we're gonna do this, uh, Mister Krauss. We're we're gonna fucking do this, man. We're gonna fucking do this. Yeah, let's give her some red hair. All right. <laughs> yep, I am crazy. So are we ready to try out some original 2009 Demon Souls? So I'm going to go ahead and just do an intro. So hello internet, your friendly neighborhood gaming machine here. And today, welcome to Random Monday. Where I'm actually going to be keeping this stream. Um, so welcome to a project that I've been working on for five to six months nonstop. Um, and that is being able to have the ability to play the original 2009 Demon Souls on a PlayStation 3 emulator from my gaming PC. Um, and as you can see, after so much tech issues, I finally fixed the situation. And I'm very, very happy about this. And uh, the reason why... I wanted to play the original Demon Souls is because one, I want to have behind my belt that I've done a playthrough of the original for the channel. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to work on trying to stream it. Now I bet you're wondering, oh, why don't you just get a capture card, pull out your old PS3 and play it right there? Because I'm a lazy son of a bitch and I don't like capture cards because I see so many people on Twitch have issues with it so me i like to try and find alternatives so i don't have to be as stressed out as some of the people that use elgato capture cards so um i'm playing demon souls 2009 on a playstation 3 emulator with custom configurations that took me five to six months to figure out how to get them set originally for my computer because everybody's computer is different and I fixed my streaming software to where it doesn't take up as much memory and it has hardware acceleration activated. And nine times out of ten, that might fix some of my other issues I've had with other streams I've done. So without further ado, we're going to be starting off as royalty. We're going to watch some cutscenes. We're going to have ourselves some fun. We're just going to chill. And I'm going to show you the differences between the remake of Demon's Souls and this one. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go and get started. Cutscene. King Alan's Bequelf, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Oletari. I can't believe it's working. Until the 
colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared that music, to though. Fog never returned. And don't worry, Chris, I'll hook you up with what I got, okay, man? Don't worry, I'll hook you up. Sadly, though, I don't think Rumble's PC will be able to take this. But I, I got a feeling that yours will be able to. Oh, the old one. In its original form. Look at all those demons. So now that I got this fixed, this is what we'll be doing on Mondays. We'll be playing us some original Demon Souls. And Chris the Crow. He's the one that has the other demon soul that everybody forgot about. Damn right, I'll hook you up with some uh, some links from my personal uh, media fire. My lone boy, who has braved the baneful fog. Oh my god. I still can't believe, though, when this game first came out, I was... I was wowed by it. I was freaking wowed by it, because I thought this was going to be another Kingsfield game. Yes, I want to play my journey to the Nexus. Because, um, like I said, originally I thought this was going to be a Kingsfield game set in a different perspective but nah it it was a new project and it blew everyone's mind when it came out this was the prototype version of the souls formula well not counting kingsfield's formula but you guys you guys know what i'm talking about oh hold on So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. And it begins. Can someone clip that whole intro right there just so I can remember that for the future? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so good. I do know it will still have its slowdowns, but it won't be as bad. But simply because this is a game that had issues when it came out. Bye bye. Like the audio echoing, that's something I can't fix. That has been a glitch with this uh, emulator uh, from my knowledge. Oh yeah, let's read some of the messages. L1 to guard. Well, I'm not going to be using a shield. Oosh. All right. Oh yeah, dude. 
This feels so good. This feels so good. Ow. Get out of here. Yes. Come at me, you fiends. One crescent moon gross. So the first thing you're going to notice is uh, one thing that they added in the remake was vaulting across things. Vaulting is not a thing in the original Demon Souls. That was added in the remake. So for this particular situation, you would have to roll down. That's why I was really confused about it uh, the first time. Okay. We are going to have some slowdowns though because this is an emulator. So yeah. It's fine. I'm using my magic because I know everything will reset itself when I use the uh, the um, stone over here. All righty. Or to new area, yes, please. All righty, Mephistopheles. Man, just look at that hoe. All right, I do want to refrain from using some of my magic though because of the fragrant ring. I want to see some. Huh? Apparently, the fragrant ring. Is faster in this one than the remake. These motherfuckers. Excuse me, sir. Alright. Yes. This is gonna be a night up here. And he's gonna try to make my life a living hell. Actually, no, that's just a regular soldier. I thought that was the night. Get down, sir. There's the knight. What's up, buddy? Eat shit, boy. Okay. Ah, read message. Wield weapon with both hands and release. No, I don't really care about that. <laughs> Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, you punky Brewster bastard. Oh, nice. Instaguard you did there, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, little demon. Okay. And what's this one say? Change weapon. Change item. Let's see. Okay. And we're doing good so far. Alright. There's going to be some boys up here. And in case people are wondering what the compile shaders thing is, basically it's kind of like um, loading uh, resources in the game. That's kind of a big thing when it came to Demon Souls. So. 
that that's gonna be like your answer to like what compiling shaders are. It was also a thing in other games too, but in terms of FromSoft and uh, level geometry, it was a little bit uh, different. Bye bye, sir. Ew, sir. Examine corpse. I will take that grass. See, si, senor. Yeah, I figured he was on mobile. Mobile doesn't exactly have a thing for that, sadly. Hey, look, it's a boy -o. Hello, sir. Take that. We gotta go down here, because there's an oitum down here. Gotta try to avoid using my magic right now, because I want to use some on the the Vanguard Demon. Alright. Here comes Mr. Vanguard Demon. Alright. So let's see how I do with uh, with this fight. And also, you'll definitely tell that the Vanguard Demon looks much different in this. Ooh. He gave me a good little hit right there. Okay. I gotta get behind him, though. Oh, I'm dead. That's okay. But that's basically the Vanguard Demon. I already know what you would get if you kill him and everything I have before. Basically, you get the, um, you get a gray demon soul that you could use later for something. And, um, you can get, like, additional healing materials, um, after his boss fight, but then you end up getting one hit KO'd by the dragon, um, god. See? Meant it. So the world might be mended. It's crazy. There you go, Chris. There's some feet for you. This is one of the audio issues that can't be fixed with this emulator. It'll fix itself in a little bit, though. The Nexus. Give me them filthy grippers. <laughs> Great. See, in time, it fixes it. There we go. All right, so we have, you know, we have Thomas right here, you know. We got uh, Blacksmith, uh, the Blacksmith right here. We got Miss Lady right here. It looks a bit like Sasha if she was a pouty face. And, of course, um, the other characters don't come until we defeat the Flalix. And of course, cutscene. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Volatari. See, si, senor. All right. Let's go. Let's do it, my dudes. I'm glad I fixed that situation. I find it funny that it was action that was doing it. That's the weird part. I was not expecting it to be action. 
I'm just glad I'll have something to actually save from this and put on freaking YouTube. Yeah. Now my hard work with this freaking game, fixing it up and everything can be shown. There's Dragon. Welcome to the original Boletarian Palace of 2009, ladies and gentlemen. It's insane, isn't it? Late Moon Grace. Okay. I'll unequip it because I want to save it. All right, let's go. We got a little bit of slowdown. That's going to happen. Because there's a lot of stuff still loading in with Boletaria. But it is fine. It'll fix itself in a little bit here. Alright, where's this dude at here? There he is. Where's your other friend? Bye bye. Oop, there we go. Art, art style wise, this looks way more appealing than the remake. Really? I'm surprised that you're saying that. I mean, this this was the prototype uh, formula for the Souls uh, formula. Just keep in mind, games before this one was, um, aside from Armored Core, um, was Kingsfield. And Kingsfield was uh, first person. And man, Kingsfield is a hard fucking game series. I'm telling you. If you want a really good challenge and you want to see what slowly became the... Um, the Souls formula, then um, try and see if you can find your hands on the um, original Kingsfield games. I mean, there's some artistic style that is better in the remake, but one definite change that you'll you'll notice is that rolling situation. It's not even a thing in the original. It's only going slow right now because there's a lot of resources that are still trying to load. Oh, had a little bit of a freeze up there. It's all right. See, look at how I'm able to roll away even in freaking slow motion. It's okay. Pop him. Pop him. There we go. Okay, we got some more grass. Let's eat some of that, actually. Okay. I need to get what's behind here. It'll get better as we go into deeper areas. This area here gave me a little bit of freeze up. So, see it's already starting to get a little better. Oh, he dropped a broken sword. Okay. I never honestly knew that they dropped broken swords here. Okay, we need to get rid of this dude. Pop him. Drop him. Okay. Pop him. Pop him. Oh! Okay.
Alright, emulator. Stop slowing on me now. Come on. Now that's the emulator slowing on me a little bit. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Okay. That's getting a little better. I think once we go in, things will be a little bit smoother. All right, let's pop in here, activate these guys, pop him, uh, pop him. Ooh. There we go. Get out of my way. Okay. Slave shield. So they cha I did not know that they changed it from what it's called in the remake, which is Drangling Shield. Uh, it's a slave shield here. That's interesting. I mean, I could kind of see why they changed it. Also, in the remake, you can actually roll through stuff. Certain um, objects. In this one, eh, you have to hit some of them. Okay, come on. Stop with the slowdowns here. You're good. You're good. Pop them. Oh, come on. You're supposed to be dead. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay. Come at me, bro. Where you go? Alrighty. See, now it's starting to get a little better. Just keep in mind, I'm not using, like, any mods or anything. There are mods that are, well, patches, mostly, um, that are available to fix certain issues with the game. In my opinion, I don't really want to use those. Um, oh, fuck off, dude. Okay. I still need to fix a little bit of the emulator issues with some of the slowdowns, but I think we fixed it, though, in terms of, like, um, my, uh, my recording software slowing it down. <laughs> but the fact that it's able to run is good, is good enough for me. This is good enough for me. Oh, fuck off. Get out of here. Here we go. Because, yeah, the rolling issue that I was talking about before with the remake... It's not even... It doesn't even exist in this. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. No, uh, you're not going to do that. You're going to get out of my way. Okay. Hit him. There you go. Come on, big boy. Now you're going to come over here. Okay. Come on, sir. Throw that firebomb. There we go. Got to hit him one more time. There we go. Ball.
All right, let's get the item. This is the Bastard Sword. Strength Weapon. Okay. Let's get on up here. So what do you think so far, guys? What do you, what do you think about this, uh, about what it, this game used to be? Interesting, isn't it? Take him out. Take him out. Okay. What do you have over here? You have half on the grass. Okay. But yeah, this was basically what the um, original Souls formula was. Was literally this game. There, because back in this time frame, there was no Souls formula. The only things that existed that people remembered about FromSoft was uh, Armored Core and Kingsfield. And I remember when this game first came out, and I had my PS3, um, literally I thought this was just going to be another Kingsfield game. Like, I seriously thought that. But then when it came out, oh my god, did it give me some rage. I remember a lot of the rage I got with this game. I literally do remember it. Aw, yeah. oh, he ran away. Oh, look at you! Here we go. Got rid of the blue knight. I mean, aside from the fact that I gotta fix some of the frame rate issues with this, it's still not bad. It's really not bad. I'm just glad I fixed the reason why my streaming software was making it slow. All right, I need you guys to hit this for me. Boosh. It's one dead bastard gone. Alright, so we need to drop a few things here. Need to get rid of him. Okay, drop these because this is the ragged set. I'm going to need some of that as well. Because this is basically me as if I'm playing like this for the first time. Because, yeah, um, my first character was Royalty. I loved my royalty character. Sooner or later, I will get back to my new game plus of uh, Demon Souls remake, though. But this this is nice. This is nice. Uh, ah! Ow! Wow! 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 That hurt. That hurt a little bit. Okay, hit that. Spells. There's your power spells. Like, I actually had um, someone from one of my Demon Souls remake uh, premieres on YouTube ask me um, which, um, which class is considered technically the worst. While most people would say that there's no such thing as a worst class, there actually kind of is, and that's the Magician. Uh, the Magician basically is royalty, except it's weaker and um, has a fire spell. While the fire spell is very useful with dealing with flanlex and all that stuff, and it wears the exact same gear as that of royalty, it doesn't have the fragrant ring. So you would automatically run out of... Um, 
resources in terms of spice and stuff like that, you would have to grind your spice with um with Ed. Well, not Ed. Uh, the blacksmith from uh, the Nexus. Because without, you know, MP, you can't really do much. Um, but also, I think it has a... I think the Magician has the Wooden Catalyst, which technically the Wooden Catalyst is better than the Silver Catalyst. The Silver Catalyst gives you a little bit extra MP to do stuff with. However, um, the Magic Adjustments, um, technically the best one is the Insanity Catalyst. But second best would be wooden, the wooden catalyst. And funny enough, there's two different places that you can get a wooden catalyst. So, you know, take that as you may. And because there is no uh, vault thing in this game, you have to literally get to Ostrava um, a bit of a different way. Well, actually, no, wait, there is. It's just a little more complicated to do. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, ah, this was a little bit of a problem. Come on. I'm up. There you go. All right, we saved him. Okay. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Volataria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Yep. Hey, oh, excuse me. Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. <laughs> no matter how far I venture. Only the soul staff remain. Is there a single sane person left in Volataria? Eh, not really, to be honest, my dude. Ah, no, you're not. But yeah, also, this game was very, very dark. Um, in terms of, like, brightness and stuff. I have the brightness up all the way, too. So, you know, take that as you may. Now, right, let's save Ostrava. Ah! Quit blocking my stuff. There you go. There you go, Oats. Have fun, buddy. Half moon grass. All right. Why are you going past these dudes? Oosh. Oosh. Unknown soldier soul. Okay. Oh, apparently, Ostrava's having some issues. Let's heal a little bit. Thanks to our cling ring. Yeah, he's having some issues. There you go, bud. Ow. Ah, oh, yeah. Let me pick off these guys one by one. Hey, quit moving. Oh, I hate that they keep moving. Quit moving. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Get him, Oats. Yeah, he didn't really do much. I mean, he is a little bit of a coward. Got him. Yeah, 
Okay. Ah! Okay. Gotta watch him here. There we go. Shard of hard stone. Sharp, shard of sharp stone. That's a random drop I haven't gotten in a long time. Okay. Cool. Cool. Very cool indeed. Very cool. All right. I thought there was something here. Or is this just lit up because I'm, you know, the light of everyone's life here? To be frank, if I was presented with this as the world I lived in, I'd simply fold in half and die. <laughs> yeah, I probably would too. Sorry for the slowdown right there. That is the emulator right there. Okay, there we go. Unknown hero soul. Let's eat a couple grass here because salad. Here we go. To be honest, I need to go the way that I was supposed to go. See, the reason why I never really vaulted a lot in the original Demon Souls is because of how... Um, oh, I'm, I can't say janky, but you didn't really know where to vault. In the remake, though, they gave you some options. Like, they would put, like, some broken wood planks or something um, for you to look for. Can the, can the emulator please not go slow, please? Come on. What are you doing? Game, come on. Come on, game. The emulator is going slow. It's okay, we got this though, we got this. Fire like freaking crazy. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're dandy. We're dandy. Backstab! Cause fuck yeah, dude. Now we'll be right where we were supposed to be, which is right here. Where is this bobo? I need to get rid of him. I need to get rid of these bow boys. Because I need to get rid of, uh... These guys that are over here. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's actually playable right now versus what it was when I was having all my other tech issues, though. It's literally playable. Isn't there use? Oh, fuck off. I'm trying to get these guys to come down. They're taking their damn time. There we go. I was trying to get these guys to come down. Come on. You're going to come right over here, Mr. Mister Battle Axe. There we go. Because, yeah, I think now if I can just fix the frame rate with um, the emulator, I think I'll be fine now. Because my main issue was trying to get this uh, streamable. It still has its moments where it goes slow, but you guys have actually seen uh, when it's actually damn behaving. What's up, buddy? Come on over here. Come on over here. There we go. Eat shit, boy. 
We're also going to meet Mr. Dragling here in a little bit, too. Two, three, four, five. All right. Pop it. Pop it. And pop it. All right, Mr. Dragling, are you here, sir? Yes, you are. This is what the Dragling looks like in this one. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? Wow, that voice, man. All right, so we got a lot of souls. Um, let's see. On hand, I have eleven. Uh, I'll get one more. Seventeen. Though. I'm gonna get ten. And I'll get one more fire bomb because I'm well. Actually, I can get more of these. Because the thing is, is that the souls that you get from the beginning of Boletaria before fighting the boss, they don't really matter. He said, Down. There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. He's not wearing a shirt, he's wearing armor. It is the end of great Volataria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> Thanks for that. Come back soon. There we go. We got some stuff. We got some stuff and things. If you're a tier one sub, you can do the Metal Agumon Gifts um, emote. That's kind of like my version of stuff and things. Stuff and things. We're going to go get more stuff and things. All right. Okay, he's there. Can I eat some of this? Yes. What's up, night boy? You want to fight? Let, let's go down here and fight. We'll have ourselves a little one-on-one. One-on-one -on -one. One -on -one with the great one. There he is. Taking his fabulous fucking time. Come on, you damn slow-ass blue knight. Let's go, homie. Let's go, my dude. Let's go. Ha 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 ha. Did half moon grace. We got ourselves some half moon grace. Grass, 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 grass. Come on, do your little bow. Yep. Bye bye. He's still alive, but I need to see if he drops anything. So we're going to go do the thing. We're going to go do the thing. Look at this guy still thinking he's going to do freaking bow stuff. Get out of here. Did you drop anything? Yes, you did. You dropped three grass. I will take that three grass. Because I'm going to need this grass to continue on forward. Hey, do I have anything in my slot? Oh yeah, the brass telescope. Gotta keep them fire bombs up, though. The one thing I didn't like, though, about the original Demon Souls, and you guys have probably noticed, is every time when I get a new consumable item, it automatically is put on my tool belt, and you have to literally take it off of it. 
it's not exactly a hindrance, but you can accidentally use something that you would definitely need for later. Um, I'm glad they kind of fixed that for the uh, remake. Hey, look, my frame rate's back to normal. Yay! Look at those beautiful rolls. Let's have some bowling. Ow. The ball, the balls are slowing down the frame rate. I'd say that's a strike, right? Can I get a clip for that strike? You know, all those uh, balls just rolling down and killing those dudes and getting a strike. That's definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it auto-adding stuff to the toolbar. Yeah. Yeah, especially the first day that I was trying out the uh, this emulator. I was having issues with the control schemes. I'm careful. The little glitch you can do here. There we go. See, in the remake, doing what I just did would technically bring them both at the same time. What I did was a little peek away. Half moon grass. Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do now. Hey, look, there's the dragons. Isn't that hilarious? Look at the dragons. Alright, so I'm not going to go up there to get the items up there. I am, however, going to take this little bottom path here. Try not to become um, a roast kebab. I'm going to take these items here because I'm definitely going to need them for later. Yes. I can always come back for that other stuff later. I don't think I will, though. Thank you, Chris, for that clip. Because, like I said, whenever I finish this one playthrough of Demon Souls, I'm not going to do another one again. I'm, I'm literally just doing this playthrough to put behind my belt that I've streamed it and I've played it. But it's going to be a little while before I finish it anyway, so... Yeah, take that as you may. Ow. No. Oop. Ow. Oh, uh, dragon. There he is. See, the timing's just right for the dragon here. Remember how I was talking about how the timing was completely off for the dragon in the remake? This is what I was talking about. See, with, with, with the original Demon Souls, I know when the dragon's going to pull his bullshit. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. This might hurt if I can't get past these dudes. There we go. There we go. Unknown soldier soul. And also, if anybody wants to clip me running that bridge... To get a, um, past the dragon and everything you can. Because like I said, the timing for the dragon, I know how to do it in the original one. And the remake, he just seems glitched. It's like sometimes he'll fly over the bridge to do his thing, sometimes he won't. And it's a little bit annoying to be completely honest. 
All right, we're going to pull this because cut scene. The music. Turn up my volume a little bit. Some of the music, though, for this, you can definitely tell it's very outdated because they're using the same type of music styles as Kingsfield. But man, though, when it works, it works. Pop them. Yep. Pop them. There you go over this way. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Did I gotta get this item up here? Come on, emulator. Quit slowing down on me. Come on. Come on. There you go. Turpentine. And yeah, before, you know, they that, that was another thing that they changed. I think it's called, literally called um, Fire Resin or Pine Resin in the remake. Yeah, in the original Demon Souls, it's called Turpentine. And it's literally what you put onto your weapon to give it firepower. It's very weird. Audio's still acting up a little bit, but it's not that bad. What's up, buddy? I'm at least going to pop you a little bit. Come on out, home slice. Bye bye. Yeah, pine resin. Yeah, and this one it's literally called uh, turpentine or turpentine, whichever way you want to pronounce it. What you doing there, homie? Where'd you go? Where did he go? Usually there's three. Unless I pop them all at the same time. Oh, there he is. There's that bastard. No. Bye-bye, sir. All right. Now we'll get a good look at uh, some of the enemies that are here. Fall and fall. Bye bye. We will take care of them later. And there's the flanlex right there. Go. They're still basically the same. And also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the rolling is so much different in this than it is in the remake. The remake, like I said, just they never fix the um, direction if you're doing constant rolling. In this one, it's not exactly the straight on Dark Souls rolling that we're used to, but it's more stable, as you can clearly see. It's literally like more straight. And that's one of the reasons why, like I said, with the remake, it makes some of the bosses a little harder. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Alright, let's open this up. Actually, wait. Isn't there... I forgot one little thing. There's a outside part of the out of the stairs here. I forgot to go to. Yeah, right here. Yes, I'm gonna need that. Thank you. Ah, uh, there you go. We're gonna go ahead and take care of the boss too. And if you guys can get the um, get the clip for when I defeat the Flanlix. Being something nice to look back on to. 
I also got to get these clothes here so I can change a little bit of my look. All right. Run past here real quick. Pick up this stuff here. Old ragged clothes. And jade hair ornament, which we will give that to uh, our friend Stockpile Thomas. Um, I do want to see what these look like on her, though. Oh, wow. They actually look better in this game than the other one. Okay. It's very interesting, I'll say that. What's my rolling like? Put those boots on. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Old Spice, put that away. Alright. So let's go ahead and take care of the Flanlinks, boss. We're going to go ahead and take care of them. The object of this, just try to get behind the Flanlinks and then start using your fire bombs. These guys, of course, will get in your way. Don't worry about it. As you can see, the Flalex look so much darker in this. Okay, hit him. Hit him. Ah, I'm targeting. There we go. I may have to use some spells on it. It's not a problem. Oop. 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 One more. And boop. A demon was destroyed. Revived. Chia. And there we go. Had to use a little bit of extra spells, but... Not a big issue. Alright, let's see. Did I get everything over here? Seems so. Alrighty then. Lead demon soul. Return to the Nexus. Yes. I shall return to the Nexus. There we go. That's the Flamex boss. Fuck yeah, man. Cutscene. Ow. I had to pop my arm. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Crow. The monumental awaits the above. Indeed, welcome on in, Jaunty. Sorry about the uh, tech issues and stuff when I was first starting. We were able to fix about 90% of them. So now things are playable. And that makes me happy. I'm guessing you have a bad week ahead of you, Mr. Crow. Ah. 
I am. I am very happy right now. I really am. I'm very happy. And my character is happy too. See, look look at that beautiful face. Look at that beautiful 2009 face. Look at that beautiful, beautiful 2009 happy face. Yes. Alright, let's talk to the monumentals. Well, first, actually, I want to get these items from down here, and then we'll talk to the baby dude. You're used to doing all your shopping at 2 a.m. when you were unemployed. Ah, oh, man. I'd say here in America, I'm used to doing a lot of my um, shopping around like 7, 8 o'clock a.m. I did not know that some that shops in the UK can be open at 2 a.m. Unless it's a 24-7 shop, though. If it's open 24-7, then that's understandable. All right, ready to see the difference of the cutscenes here? We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united. What's the law on Sunday? Never heard of a law on Sunday. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land leaped a colorless deep fog. And the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thank be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Order mend the fabric of what land still remains. The music, man. Six elders with six precious art strings. One, the king of a small yet diligent land. One, to the king of the borrowers underground. One, to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One, to the chieftain of lost and ill fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadow men. And the last to the great giant of the northern land. Which we never go to. The arch stones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arc. Finally, we became monumental. Half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Mm. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. So, what do you think about that version of the cutscene, Chris? Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. <laughs> the strength to accept this mission? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. Demons. Without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom? Borgia. Borgia. 
I'm loving how dark and grimy everything is. Yeah. See, the thing is, there are patches that you can get um, with this emulator um, and everything like that. Um, also, you have to get the game, of course, but we'll, we'll talk about that off stream and everything because I, I know how you can get it. But um, the thing about it, though, is that uh, this game in particular had a lot of uh community patches because patches weren't really a thing when it came to playstation 3 yet so the community did a lot of patches like um fps unlocking um lighting the skippable cutscenes type of thing um in my t in my thing though i'm not using any of those mods uh, I consider the mods, basically in 2023, you would call these mods. But back in the day, they were called community patches. And um, if you want to use them when you're able to play this, by all means. Um, me, I'm showing exactly the way it was when I first played this. Problem is, though, is uh, a couple years ago, um, um, they completely closed the um, online servers. So, yeah. They kind of closed down the online servers for this version when the remake came out. So, yeah. Oh, I love the original Demon Souls. In my opinion, the original Demon Souls in my opinion, is a little bit better than the remake, and it's because of the mechanics. The mechanics in the original Demon Souls, while they had their limits, it felt like a Dark Souls game, even though this is considered the first Souls game. Because in case you don't know, Jaunty, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Before Dark Souls was even in creation, this company from software was known honestly for two different games. They they created other games as well, but they were mostly remembered and known for two different types of games. Armored Core, which we are getting a new Armored Core game later on in the years, because um, that was confirmed at the Game Awards. And the second game they were known for was what was called Kingsfield. Kingsfield was basically a very hard first person survival medieval game that's the best way that i can put it it's extremely hard extremely unforgiving and i don't really recommend kingsfield games to people that um don't want to challenge the kingsfield games are very very challenging but then i'd say it was around like 2007 2008 from software was talking about a game that was in production i thought it was going to be a new kingsfield game but in late 2009 demon souls came out which is this game demon souls was what i would consider the last of the kingsfield formula era and the start of what would become the Souls formula era. This was the prototype version of the Souls formula. Um, it's really unknown why uh, Demon Souls was a thing. And then around like 2011, uh, Dark Souls became a thing. But I guess you could say Demon Souls was the prototype version of the Souls formula, but Dark Souls 1 nearly perfected it. Dark Souls Remastered, though, completely fixed a lot of the issues that the original Dark Souls formula was. But yeah, Demon Souls has got to be one of the most important games ever created by FromSoft. Because um, if they would have kept on with freaking Kingsfield, I don't think they would have gotten as good as they did.
that's just me though. I just thought I'd give you that little history lesson right there. Are you here to face the demons? Yes. If so, please free Sage Freak the Visionary from the Dungeon of Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Yes. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have the <laughs> power to save him alone. Oh, excuse me. I would like to learn Flame Toss, please. Remember spell. Okay, I need to get myself to two slots. That's fine. I can do that. Be careful how you use it. Normally it would not be granted to one. You're very welcome, Jaunty. I had to make an exception for the sake of Sage Freak. Because, yeah, not many people really know of that information. Honestly, a lot of people overlooked Demon Souls when it came to, like, their quote-unquote first Souls game. You know, it's, it's, it's weird. If that's all I can really say about it. It's really weird. Okay, unknown Demon Soul... And yeah, as you can see, there's not a quantity meter. So that's another thing that was kind of uh, limited, I guess you could say. Oh, I know. It's okay. I don't get upset when people say Elden Ring was their first Souls game. I never do get upset about that. Your first Souls game is whatever your fucking first Souls game is, you know. But, going back to what led to Elden Ring being almost as perfected in terms of a formula that it is, is what's important to me. Brave soul who fears not death. Prithee, allow the old one back to its ancient slumber. Slumber. Blue eye stone, white eye stone. Eye stones temporarily connect to the fused world. Should you lose your physical form, remember the eye stone. The maiden controls inhuman souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? See, I do. Strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside thee. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Man, when I was a kid, I would so get like the naughty side of my brain activated when she would say, Touch the demon inside me. I'm so stupid. Fifteen magic. I need to get ten vitality there. And as you can see, the, I, I'm so glad that they changed how you do the level ups. Because for this one, you choose which thing you want to level up. And there is no like moving it uh, more than one. You do it one by one. It's crazy. It's just crazy. As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Hmm. Art thou done? See. May thine strength help the world be mended. See. Okay, so until I put my intelligence up a little bit more, I need to switch to my fire spell. You're begging for a magic lesson. I need to get two slots so I can do soul arrow and flame toss. Be careful how you use it. Normally it would not be granted to one such as yourself. 
I had to make an exception for the sake of Sage Freight. And even though a lot of people came back to reprise their lines for the remake, I like a lot of the voice acting in the original as well. So you can tell that the woman that did the voice of um, the Maiden in Black, she got she got older, of course, because of time, um, the actual voice actress. But she was able to reprise her role as the Maiden in Black. But because of the maturing of her voice, you, you don't really hear the Maiden in Black anymore when you play the remake. You hear the doll from Bloodborne. So I always thought that was an interesting little thing. We're going to go to the Flanax Archstone for a little bit here. I want to um, take care of all of my uh, stuff. I still have some souls that I need to deal with. Okay. I want to take care of these flame legs here and try and get myself to some extra souls. Without dying, of course, if it's possible. But yeah, I had to boost up my health to 10, you know, because my health was really... Uh, low. But, uh, I just want to take care of these guys. I am actually a member of, um, a couple different communities and, uh, souls. Actually, a lot of the, um... A lot of communities with like uh, Lost My Sanity, Chase the Bro, um, Sun Queen, and stuff like that, um, people know of my existence. It's kind of complicated with the Souls universe, though. Because there's not many people that are like the number one person you go to for like Soul stuff. Oh, come on, game. Yeah. Oh, come on. Fucking wood planks. <laughs> to be completely honest, a lot of people in the Souls community are kind of assholes. <laughs> but uh, there are a few main people in the communities that I am a fan of. Um, but it's, it's, it's kind of complicated when talking about like the souls community, really. Okay. Come on. Don't do that. Go. I'd say, though, if you want somebody that's very, very noble, though, in the Souls community, you're talking to them. But the funny thing is, though, is on old occasions, I have uh, defeated some of the best in terms of uh, people in the Souls community. Um, for example, um, there was one time I was playing Bloodborne and I defeated Chase the Bro in Bloodborne, yet he's considered one of the greatest um, invaders and duelers in uh, Dark Souls games. Specifically Dark Souls 3. Um... And then in terms of uh, Lost My Sanity, um, he's raided me a couple times when I streamed on uh, Twitch um, in the earlier days. Um, I'm part of the, their communities as well. I'm just not active in them. It's, it's very complicated, though.
But yeah, in terms of like people in the Souls community, there's really like, I'd say, four types of people. There's the reg there's the speedrunners that speedrun uh, Souls games. Gotta jump off here. Um, there's speedrunners that play the game. Uh, there's um, invaders. There's build makers. And then there's the cooperators. I guess you could just say I never thought I'd... Well, I never thought I'd ever say this in my lifetime now. But I'm considered a build maker now. That's that's just who I am. I'm a build maker. I make, I make builds. Um, I'm also a cooperator. I will help someone in an instant when it comes to a Souls game. Um... I do like to invade, but I'm a very noble kind of kind of invader, and those are very hard to come by. Where if you get if I invade your world, for example, and you give off the body language like you want to fight me, I will fucking wreck you, depending on the game I'm playing. If it's Dark Souls Remastered or if it's Bloodborne, I will fucking wreck the hell out of you. And so will my uh my soul students as well. They will fucking wreck you. Shadow has a very Shadow Seed Five has a very good winning streak going on right now in Bloodborne, and sooner or later I want to help Rumble have himself a winning streak in terms of defeating people in uh, Bloodborne. Um, but if you are the type of player and you give off like the uh, body language where you're like, please don't, please don't kill me, please don't bother me, or if, the, or if they run away, I'll leave their world. But if you give off that but if you give off that freaking body language that you want to fight, I will wreck your fucking life. Okay? If it's Dark Souls Remastered or Bloodborne, I will wreck you until you want to literally just leave. Like just rage quit the fucking game. That's just the way that it is, man. That's just the way that it is. And that's the way it's always gonna be. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's an item back here. I need to get this. Um, oh, look, it's the original crystal lizard. It's an actual lizard, too. I'll take it. Nice. That's a good one. But, yeah, sooner or later, though... I will may I will help Rumble make an invasion build and he will make people's lives a living hell. I I, I promise you that. I already made a monster when it came to Shadow Seed. I already made a monster. He will wreck the fucking hell out of you, man. Okay, we gotta wait until the second rock hits. There you go. I know there's sticky stuff over there. I'll get it later. This is a really dark area. But I have the right weapon for these guys too, though, so I'm not too concerned. Backstab! See, keep in mind, Chris, if you want an invader build... All you have to do is ask, and I will make you an invader build for Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and the more I learn about Elden Ring, I'll even help you with a freaking invasion build for Elden Ring. The only reason why I don't really have the legit invasion build for Elden Ring is because of all the patches they keep doing, and they keep nerfing everything. So, you know... Take that as you take that as you will. Give me, give me that back. Give me that back. There we go. Well, see, here's the thing. I used to be just like you, man. I was not interested in invading people. I really wasn't. I used to think invaders were some of the most, you know, bottom of the barrel assholes ever in the world. 
But then I started to learn things from a different perspective, becoming an invader. And like I said, there, an invader is exactly the way you want it to be. You can either be an asshole invader or you can be a noble boy invader. If you want to be an asshole invader, you hide behind enemies and um, you use enemies to help you get uh, your kills as an invader. Me wise, that's, that's just not how I play. And I'm never going to play like that. I like doing one on one. That, that's how I do my invasions, and that's how I'm always going to do my invasions. You know what I mean? But, um... But, yeah, you know. I'm both a cooperator, an invader, and I make, I make builds. I make builds so people can play the game. Now, thing is, Chase the Bro on YouTube is um, he is mostly someone who makes invasion builds, and he does weapon showcases for dueling and invading. I make builds for different other reasons than just like invading. I I guess you could call it character and character builds. That's how I kind of call it. Um, where, you know, I'll give you the base of the build. But after that, you know, you kind of need to, you know, make the build whatever you want it to be. Uh, I could probably die here if I don't get rid of this dog. Oh, these dogs. Get out of here. Damn it. I always hated these damn dogs in this game. They're assholes in the remake, and they're assholes here. Fucking dogs. I'm dead. Yeah, the, those fucking dogs, dude. I hate these dogs. The, the reason why I hate them is because when they hit you, they can fucking stun you. Yep, he does character builds. For example, if you give him a character, let's say, Willow Rosenberg from Buffy, how would you build that in Bloodborne? Give us an example. Okay, so Willow from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, I mean, definitely she was never really a main character. She didn't do much in terms of actual vampire slaying. That was usually Buffy's forte. But definitely making a character that uh, takes its time with its prey would probably be the best option. So, like for example, if I was gonna do Buffy, if I, if I if I was if I was gonna make a Buffy character, I'd be like, hey, go for fucking church pit because it's like a fucking giant fucking stake that you can turn into something similar to that of a uh, um um scythe, but it's still considered like a uh, a thrusting weapon. So, like for example, there's that. If I was going to make a build for Willow, I'd have to probably say... I wouldn't mind a beast of... A, um, what is it? Um, not the Beast Hunter safe. Um, the Beast Cutter. I wouldn't mind the Beast Cutter because the um, reason I say the Beast Cutter is because in regular form, it's like a club. But in its trick form, it turns into a very strong power whip. Hell, if you were going to make Ivy from the Soul Calibur series, I would highly recommend that, um, that weapon too. Okay, 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 quit. Quit, quit, quit shit. 
Fuck off. Quit, quit your shit. Thank you. Told you I don't like these dogs. I don't even like them in the fucking remake. They're little assholes. But yeah, if you were going to do something like that for Willow, yeah, I'd probably go Beast Cutter. Because it's both the combination of a long distance weapon and a close and a close quarter combat weapon because of its uh, club type um, regular version. Yeah, well, right now I'm already planning a build for invasions for Rumble. Um. But I'm going to wait until he's fully finished with his first playthrough with Dr. Yedis before I uh, give him that build. But trust me, this build that I'll be uh, helping Rumble create and everything, mm, it's going to be a strong fucking build. Ow. God damn, I hate these guys. Damn it. I'm trying to be careful not to die to this guy. There you fire. Oh, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. How can he reach me? How can how the fuck can he reach me from up here? Son of a bitch. Fine, I'll fight his ass in here. Oh, come on, game. This is just these guys. I, I, I hate these guys. Can you please stop spamming your damn fire now? There we go. Ow! Alright, he's dead. Full moon grace. Shard of clear stone. Chunk of hard stone. Chark of, chunk of sharp stone. So yeah, does that answer your question, uh, good Mr. Shadow? Come on out here, dude. Come up. There you go. Alright, use a heal. There's also seen how I got Rumble into Bloodborne and everything. He could help you with some stuff, too. Come on, you son of a bitch. From the words of Jack Nicholson Joker, Come on, you gruesome son of a bitch. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck off! Hate that poise damage. I don't know. I am kind of glad that they actually fixed that in the remake, though. But that's really all they really did fix, in my opinion. They did a lot of graphical changes, though. Which I do like um, the environmental graphics. I, I do enjoy those. But... Um, I do like the gloominess art style of the original Demon Souls, as you can clearly see. Like just the lighting and everything, so so spooky, so very spooky. I came over here to take care of you, you fat son of a bitch. Uh. Roll it. Do it again. Ow! Well, that might kill me. No. Oh, fucking bullshit. It's okay. I can get. I can get to him. 
that's just the game. That's literally just the game. These guys were always a little bit extra tanky, and I, I can't stand them. The uh, quote-unquote judicers. They're very frustrating. But on the bright side, at least I'm getting a little bit of souls out of it, too. I'd say, though, if this level didn't really have the dogs, I wouldn't be dying so much, though. But it is what it is. Okay, emulator, quit slowing me down, please. Oh, my God. Damn it, Rumble's damn message on the Twitch chat slowed my the game down a little bit there. All right, give me a minute, Rumble. Giving me a paragraph to read while I'm killing stuff in a dark area. Remind me to make you pay for that. <laughs> Come on, fire your game. There you go. Especially when I don't know when these dogs are going to come and get me. Alright, let me go over here so I don't die to anything so I can read what Rumble saying here in chat. Okay. But yeah, I mentioned this to Ari, so I was helping a rando out with Bloodborne. My father cast going to his place and someone came in. Thought it was another cooperative, but it was a vile blood invader. Boy, but they went to mistake of a lifetime. They went up the stairs to try and block a charge at me, nailed him with a cannon, sliced, wants to deal the finishing blow. Nice! Yeah, that's that's a great way to uh to kill certain invaders, yeah. But as always remember, Mr. Crow, not all invaders are assholes, but most of them are. Um, except for me, of course. Okay, you stupid ass dog. You you need to quit. 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 Oh my god, is it going to kill me? It's going to try. Fuck off. Oh my god. Those damn dogs. They have a lot of fucking stun. I cannot stand it. Oi, right, caramba. Oi, right, caramba, eh? All right, now I took care of those dogs. Take care of these guys with some little bit of fire here. See, si, senor. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably one of the only noble type of invaders you'll ever run into, though. Just because I became an invader. Um, just so people can understand that not all invaders are assholes. That's literally why. Hold on. God damn, I hate that. I'm actually glad that uh, Dark Souls fixed some of this. The whole concept of invasion is scummy. Hey, stop it. Don't try to offend me. Stop trying to offend me. Uh, all out of the way. Got him. I thought I got him. Get the fuck out of here, big boy. Jeez. Okay. We got his punk ass. I'm just saying how I feel about it. I mean, it's fair. Just keep in mind, I'm not a scummy asshole, okay? Yep, saved by the pixel. There we go. All right. Gotta be careful here. Gonna be a boy right here. 
Oh, there's two of them. Okay. If Chris doesn't like invading, then I love it. I actually have um, a playlist on YouTube of um, me doing invasions on uh, different Souls games. Fuck off. Quit that. Fuck off. I cannot wait to get the damn Chris Blade. <laughs> I want that damn thing. And funny enough, I know where it is, too. It's just going to take me a little while to get to it. Alright, I want to take care of this fire-throwing asshole here. Because he killed me last time, and that was bullshit. First off, I want my souls, because those belong to me, not this fat tub of lard. Bro. Get. Bro. Can't reach out at the moment. Trying not to die here, real quick. Oh, fuck off. Deal. Do it again. Got that fat bastard. All right. Now, I just got to try and get across this fucking little bridge here. If I can remember how to do it. Ah, I fucked it up. Okay. That's fine. I don't really need anything from up there, so. Now that I broke that bridge, I'll know how to cross it now. Okay. But yeah, don't worry though, Chris. After the stream, I'll uh, I'll hook you up with a couple links. Because okay. I know you'll want your hands on this. I do kind of wonder why phantoms are appearing down close to me when I'm not online on this game and the servers have been gone, you know, offline since... I'm seeing freaking ghosts, my dude. I'm seeing freaking ghosts. It's crazy. Okay. So we made it across. I need the lever. Unless the lever was down there. I think the lever was down there. Yeah, it was. That's fine. I got the shit that I wanted, though. Roll it down. Give me that backstab. I have always wondered that, though. If uh, when a server is completely offline. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know if you guys get what I'm talking about. It would be very interesting. I'll say that. It would be very interesting. Because they closed the servers around the same time that the remake came out. Which I thought was really sad. Oh, you bastard. God damn. Come on, man. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Okay. Fucking, you know what? Piss off. All the bloody best. Alright. When in doubt, throw fire at him. And go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
eat shit, boy. I do love the fact that uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 had the whole chain backstab thing. That was so fun. That was so fucking fun. Give me a minute, I'll reach out in a minute. Is there a globally recognized best build in terms of dominance? For which game? For which Souls game? Oh, there it is. There it is. Open. Open says me. Cutscene. That will open the gate to the next area. Open the gate. Open the gate. Uh, well, all Souls games, including Bloodborne, are very different. So, there are considered best builds in the game. However, um... Giant Dad in Dark Souls um, 1, kind of, but it's very hard to do it. I've done a Giant Dad before. It's very hard to make. And in the end, you kind of wonder if it was really worth it, if that makes any sense. Because, yeah, it's a very strong, overpowered build. However, at the same time... Once you make the build, there's not really much you can do with it, sadly enough. To be completely honest, though, a lot, a lot of the best builds are really just spellcasters. Spellcasting builds can be. Like watching a crow stream. The crow. The power of the crow. Your lies are sweet. Bye bye. Okay. But yeah, I'd say though, when it comes to. Demon Souls remake versus the original Demon Souls. If the remake had the mechanics as the original Demon Souls, it'd be amazing. And if they also did pat more patches when the game came out, it would have been good. Try some fire on the fire. I figured that wasn't gonna do anything. Let me try and bring them up if I can. Yeah, actually, I'll come back for those guys. Lava. Um, let's see. So I got to ask, though, how did you and Jaunty meet? Um, Chris. How did you meet Mr. Jaunty? And also, how did you meet Miss uh, Miss Dan? I'm 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 kind of wondering that for a while. Oh, you bastard! Come on in. What you think you're the next big thing? You think you're Brock Lesnar? Nowhere near it, buddy boy. I have no idea. 
How do you not know how you met someone? It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Oh, that's bull. Oh, fuck off. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not pulling that shit on me. No, you're not. He just appeared in the wild like a Rattata. Fair. Very fair. I need to get my magic back up, though. So I'm going to have to hit some of these guys with some melee. Luckily, I have the right weapon to fight these guys with. Because they don't like thrust attacks. Eat shit, boy. Ooh, he had a lot of shit on him. And so did he. Dan was watching the streams of another guy I was playing with at the time. And now I can't get rid of her. Are you still friends with uh, this guy that you were playing with? Crescent moon grass. And what do we got here? Unknown hero soul. I mean, I already know what all the items are and everything. I just like being like, oh, what's this? Like, oh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. Activate. I cling on to people who tolerate me, and Chris and Dan have 99 tolerance. No, nah, we drifted apart. It happens. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I know that all too well when it comes to uh, people drifting and stuff. How the fuck did I get onto this platform? I'm not even going to ask. I'm not even going to ask. I think I just fight floated onto that shit. It's now down to 98. <laughs> and there's Ed the Blacksmith right there. I need to take myself back to the Nexus. Oh, you fucking game. I really hate the backstep in this game. I really do. It came from Demon Souls. It was put in Demon Souls Remake, and I hate it. I hate it. I did not want to lose those damn souls. Nah, I want to use those souls to level up. Because I'm going to need some regular magic. Ho, 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 it's magic, you know. I need to put that uh, hero soul in there. I mean, not here, so, uh, the lead demon soul. Let's get some souls on here. Okay. Thou seekest soul power, dost thou not? Then touch the demon inside me. I'm probably going to go on for like another 45 minutes. I want to get at least a little bit of good content because of all the tech issues I had at the beginning. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Cool. Strength to grant I got those two right there. So the world might Do that. Do that, do that, and do that, and do that. There we go. Art thou done? Main thine strength help the world be mended. Yep, be mended. I am stuck by old Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. 
Yes, I do have to put some stuff in here, though. Alright, have fun with the chemist. Whatever that is. Alright. I don't really need the turpentine. I'm going to put those in there because I'm not going to need those for right now. Put all my shards in here. I bloody fucking hate Malekith, you know, what a shitter of a boss. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Alright, all ragged clothes. Clothes, which we choose. Alright. Rest assured. Rest assured. When the scourge came, when I came, I wish it. That candle maiden, she said, the poop, if only. Best of luck. Hold on. I do have to talk to him to give him the ornament. That hairpin. That belongs to my daughter. Then, she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. Mm. May I ask you a favor? Sure. Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Sure. Here you go, homie. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. See, si, senor. Herculean strength. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings, rest assured. Yep, I'm going to deposit that ring in there. Okay. Next, some of this grass needs to go in there. Also, put that in there. Uh, full moon grass, stick that in there. Lake moon grass, stick that in there. We're going to keep the half moon and crescent moon. I'm going to need that the most. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. See, si, senor. All right. Oh, yeah. Let me get my spell back. See, the problem is me trying to make um, the build that I have in Dark Demon Souls Remake is going to be impossible, sadly. I cannot uh, get the old monk wrappings here anymore. Because they closed down the servers and everything, you can only get them by being the boss for the old monk in Upper Latria. And sadly, you can't do that anymore. Be careful how you use it. Normally, it would not be granted to one such as yourself. I had to make an exception for the sake of Sage Freight. See, senor. All right. So we're able to use those. I got both of my spells back. Let's continue on through Stone Fang Tunnel. Yuria the witch. She's a witch, bitch. Alright. Does the guy have anything on him? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take one of us. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Alright. The power of a lift.
I don't need that item that's down there though. I want to continue through here. My magic's a little stronger and so is my health. Really, game? Oh, hit him with fire. Oh, so the soul arrow is stronger than the fire against these guys. Okay. That's a little different, but okay, I'll take it. Hit him. Hit him. I don't really need to go to where the lizards are. I just want to continue through here. Alright, what do we got here? Yep, we got one of these dudes. One of these dudes. Come on down here, pickaxe boy. Bye-bye. Okay. Wait, he drops off? I thought he drops off. Oh, uh, yeah. then got that large heart stone cool cool made it across nice Nice. Great club. It's a bonk stick. Cool. Now I can go uh, fight these lizards that I missed last time. Oh, yeah. Of course you fucking move like a dipshit. Okay. Alrighty, let's... I want to go for these little lizard boys here. Because I know they probably have some good shit that I'm going to need. There we go. Okay. 
eat your greens. Sadly enough, I don't really like collard greens. I wish I did like greens, though. They just really hurt my stomach. Sadly. I wish they didn't, but they do. Alright, can I get this now? Shard of Dragonstone. Gotta love the ragdoll physics. Gotta love it. Alright. Let's go back up here. Ow. Ow. Sorry. My ear was itchy. Someone's talking shit about you, boy. Alright, so... Compiling shaders. Yep, that means it's loading in more assets. Okay. So I went down there. Sorry for that slowdown. That's coming from the emulator. Come on. It's just some fucking assets of some damn barrels. There you go. It's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get rid of them. Because those could really get me killed. Oh, Rumble sending some DMs on the discords. Two grass, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Knock these assholes out, my dude. Unknown hero soul. Course breaking of assets. Steel shield. Okay. Come on, big boy. Come on. You have no chance in hell. Hey. Okay. Dead. I'm guessing uh, sour cream and onion. That's the only thing I can think of that's a green Pringles. Well, Pringles in a green can. It would be uh, sour cream and onion. I know that vinegar is usually blue. Anything that's cheese is usually yellow. Don't know Vince McMahon because they've got no chance in hell. Yeah, I know. I love my Vince McMahon impression, though. That's some good shit. Shane is the perfect example of being born from my semen. I am kind of PO'd, though, that uh, he's pulling that bullshit right now. With WWE. I'm actually really pissed off at Vince right now about that. Eh. Eh, lizard. 
Bye bye, Mr. Lizard. Okay. I do know that there's still some hanging up on here. Yep, there's one right there. Oop. There's a cheese and onion flavor? That's kind of weird. Never heard of that. Sounds kind of strong, to be honest. I don't see myself really eating something like that. Ah, I thought you were dead. Oh, it's a dog. Ah, oh, I hate these dogs. Vince has always done what Vince wants. Nothing surprised me with the genetic jackhammer. Yeah. Yeah. To be completely honest, the last storyline that I ever liked that had to do with Vince, and this is because of the sadistic bastard part of my um, personality, was uh, the ECW thing where he wore a fucking do-rag um, and a fedora on some occasions. And uh, he had Shane Umaga um, on his side, and they beat Bobby Lashley for the title. That was some real funny fuck shit, though. Uh, I, I, that, that was entertaining. Because I already knew that deep down Vince was going to completely demolish ECW. Because, you know, he, he did that with uh, WCW, as you probably know. Um, but it is a interesting situation, though. Because Vince himself is an interesting situation. Because, see, I love how people say, you know, all, you know, that the uh, the best heel of WWE was, like, Edge or, you know, um, Stone Cold Steve Austin on, a, on occasions and stuff like that. I'm like, no, no, no. You're not using your damn brain. The best heel in not only WWE but wrestling, period, is Vince McMahon. Vince is and always will be one of the biggest heels and not just because of him in real life. It's also because of the character he quote unquote portrays in his own company. You know, even uh, Rumble will um, agree with me. One of the greatest heels in wrestling is always going to be Vince McMahon. And I'd say when he dies, that'll probably go to, in my opinion, MJF. I, I like MJF. His promos are so fucking funny. Um, and deep down, we're never going to truly know if MJF is really who he says he is in real life. I just... I just dig Maxwell Jacob Freeman. I, I I just dig him. And I'm always going to dig him. Because he's a fucking asshole. He takes like all the good qualities in terms of a promo user. And he just, he just completely annihilates it. He's like... He succeeded... And his craft better than Miz did. And I I actually did like the Miz. Um, Mike Mizanin. For a short period of time. I do still kind of like him though. But the thing is though. I do believe that Maxwell Jacob Freeman. Is a better wrestler than Miz. Um, just because I've seen. A lot of their independent stuff too. Even though Miz really didn't have independent stuff. He was. He was a WWE's little asshole. Um, but yeah, you know, Miz was never really much of a wrestler. Miz was just a charismatic asshole that's even married to the most charismatic female asshole. Um, very hot little asshole, too. Uh, Maurice. He, he got himself a French bitch. And uh, I'm happy for Miz. Hell, he has a he even had her pump out a few damn kids for him too. I was like, damn. 
You know what I mean? Like, Miz really dug deep into that uh, Frenchy shit, man. I was like, damn. But, yeah, in terms of who's the better wrestler, though, that that that's going to uh, MJF. You know, and I think even in time, MJF will become an even greater wrestler. Characters taking a shower. Shower, shower. Um, but like I said, that's just me. Might, you might not even be a fan of uh, Maxwell Jacob Freeman, MJF from uh, AEW. But dude, he's good at what he does. And he's still young, but damn, dude, his his wrestling's going to get better. I, I can just see it. MJF, in my opinion, is going to be the future of of just wrestling, period. But like I said, that's just me. You might not agree with what I'm saying, but that's just me, you know. All right, let's see. Let's, is there anything over here I should know about? No. I think we're good. Yep, Arena. Because we also got to end up fighting. Uh, oh, this bastard. That's going to hurt my frame rate. Yep, that sure as hell did a number on my frame rate right there. At least he's getting rid of those damn uh, barrels, though. Oh, I need to get rid of that. Oh my god. That was some hellacious freaking range. Come on, get rid of the barrels. My frame rate goes so bad when I'm destroying barrels. If I'm careful, I can get them just by simply strafing. Come on. Fire your thing. Here you go. Okay. Strafe it. Got him. Got that punky Brewster bastard. Okay, is there any items in here before I go through the fog? I don't think there is. Okay. Because we are going to have to stand outside of uh, the boss room before we fight the spider. I'm also going to be getting my crisp blade here too. Nice try you bastard. Nice fucking try. Where's our little stooge? He's gonna stand out there. Okay. Have fun. Alright, so the crisp blade should be right over here. Um, let's see here. Give me just a minute, Chris. It is very dark here. I can't really see. Come on, give me my frame rate. There we go. Yeah, give me some of that frame rate. Okay. So we gotta go up here. Because I am gonna have to stop for a little bit anyway, so I can uh, get my MP back up. Let's play. Do I have the stats for it? Let's see, all it needs is 8 strength, 16 magic. I got it. Fuck yeah, I'm going to use it. Um, got that falling grass, get rid of edge grindstone. 
All right, let me think about a uh, bad game that we can talk about. What do you think? Um, let me think here. Because, yeah, after the spider boss, that's how I'm going to end. Um, let me see. Okay, I know one. Um, Action 52 for the NES. Uh, Action 52 has 52 games. 51 of them are, uh, you know, something or another. Uh, the 52nd game, though, is uh, Cheetah Men, which is one of the only, like, so-so actual games on that um, cartridge. Um most of them are space shooters. I'd say 10% of them don't even work um, in terms of the games themselves. They don't really work. A lot of them are space shooters, um, really bad replications of games that already came out. And some of them have wackier controls, wackier than... Uh, Literally anything that you play. Uh, Cheetah Men was basically a story about um, a kid that was pulled into a video game. And he meets these four Cheetah Men. And the Cheetah Men basically are, uh, you know, there to, you know, defeat the boss and whatnot. You never hear from the main character ever again. Um... I think I, I think I, yeah, I did a review on the Cheetah Men a long time ago on uh, the Onyx the Game Machine series. Um, but uh, Action 52 was just terrible. There was a Genesis version that was created as well. Some of them have better graphics, but they still have just the worst freaking um, titles ever. And there is a Cheetahman game for that one as well, but it's a completely different conversion, and it has worse controls. See, both Cheetahman games... How can I put it? Good concepts, bad graphics, clunky controls. So, that's your random bad game, is... Um, Action 52. Absolutely terrible uh, game. Don't recommend it. Plus, its um, initial release price was bullshit. Very bad price. Like, if you go online right now, and you look up what Action 52 used to cost back in the day, uh, you'll be freaking surprised. Okay, so let's get some half grass out. You guys know what to do. Um, when I defeat the boss, um, clip it and everything. I will talk about your random good movie in a minute, Jaunty. I am about to fight a boss, and I need to concentrate. What I'm going to see if I can still do the cheese in this version. Armored Spider. Ow. Come on, move! Where's the spot? Oh, it's right there.
down here. One more hit. Here we go. Earned a bronze trophy. Armored spider trophy. There we go. There's your clip. You want to get all the items here so I don't have to worry about them later. Alrighty then. Alright, let's see. Random good movie. Um, let me see. I'd have to say probably... Um, yeah, I know a good one. Santa Slays. Um... Very, very old movie, Christmas movie. Um, Santa is played by Bill Goldberg from WWE's, WWE slash WCW. Um, he goes on a murderous rampage. Um, it's really funny. Um, how can I put it? Um, a lot of the characters are really stupid, but funny at the same time, and you just want to see Goldberg kill someone new in a creative style in that game. I mean, in that movie. Um, but yeah, I, I, you, I think you'll really like Santa Slay, um, if you watch that old movie. If you like Goldberg, that is, you know. Might be mended. Oh, the world might be mended. Oh, the world might be mended. Art thou done? Mend thine strength. Help the world be mended. Help be mended. Thank you, Mr. Chris. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the clip, sir. All right. So we have 1,214 souls. Services. The name's Baldwin. Baldwin. An ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? <laughs> you fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, repair. 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 Uh, I'll need to repair the rapier. Buy. We're going to buy. I do find it funny that, uh, just the way that they got the, um, Weapons and everything here. It's it's interesting. There's not like something that shows all of what he has. You have to go to each different tab. That's interesting. I'm going to need more of those. 69. Gotta love it. Alright. Alright. So. Let me jump off here. So I can get my. Tendency back. And then I'll talk about uh, the rest of the week. Also, I hope Rumble is still in chat. Maybe Shadow might still be in chat as well. Because uh, I got a couple things I'm going to talk about. I needed to kill her. Okay.
it's just so cool that now I can actually like play this game. I'm I'm just I'm just flabbergasted that I got it working. Like it's like the emulator still has its slow moments, but man, the fact that it's playable now, oh my god, I love it. Mr. Rumble Roses, Shadow Seed, are you two still here? I have some uh, stuff I want to tell you guys because I'm about to end. I'm trying to see where I should go next. Eh, I'll keep her. I'll take her over here. Okay, good. Rumble's still here. All right, so this is how I'm going to end for today. I want to let everybody know thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it, especially... The fact that we've had a we had quite a few rough starts at the beginning here for the test stream, but I am going to um, you know highlight uh, some of the stream here and everything like that, so I can put it on YouTube, um, things like that. I want to try to see if I can fin uh, continue more of this maybe on Monday. I, I would like to do that um, just so I can get some original demon souls you know in um behind my belt and stuff like that but uh yeah um my next stream will be on wednesday which will be Soulsborn wednesday i'm gonna take a tiny little break from demon souls remake uh just for like a couple wednesdays you know i i am going to be trying to work on um you know, getting the platinum and everything for Demon Souls remake, but I want to take my time with it more now, um, especially with my new game plus run. So on Wednesdays, uh, for at least maybe like this Wednesday and next Wednesday or something like that, I'm gonna play a little bit of Bloodborne. I want to make a new character. I got a build in mind, um, and I might see. If I can make it like a little thing with Mr. Rumble Roses. So you guys can see um, the immersive progression that Mr. Rumble Roses has done in this game. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have some ideas of what I'm going to do the build on and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is um, I will at least be defeating Cleric Beast regularly. Uh, solo, but I will probably bring in Mr. Rumble Roses for like, you know, other bosses and stuff like that and, you know, things like that, you know. I, I think it'll be fun. Um, we might not use audio chat though, uh, but I know he'll be in um, the actual Twitch chat. So we'll be able to get some stuff set up for that. Um, so yeah. You know, you guys will not only see me do another new build on Bloodborne, but you'll also get to see um, me play some of it with my bestie. So, hell yeah. That'll be fun. And then on Friday will be Retro Friday, where I'll be continuing more of the Pokemon Emerald uh, Randomizer. Um, maybe seeing how I did the changes with... Um, um, action... It might actually fix some of the uh, it issues I was having with my emulator for that. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll find out on Friday. But, uh, but yeah. Um, Mr. Rumble Roses, is there someone that we both know that I can give a raid to, sir? I would like to give a nice little raid to somebody. Someone where I can raid them and relax and, you know, maybe pass out to sleep if possible. Um, but while we wait on Mr. Rumble Roses to find us someone to raid, uh, Mr. Jaunty, Mr. Chris, what do you guys think of, uh, 2009 Demon Souls versus, you know, in terms of Chris, like versus the Demon Souls remake? What do you think? You know, I, I'd like, I'd like some solid opinions that I can tell the people watching this later as a VOD. I'll even read your comments too. All right, let's let, let's get a look at her beautiful little head. Look at that face. Look at that beautiful little face. That's a beautiful little face. I'd like to play this one for sure. Yeah, it'll take some getting used to, but uh, 
It's definitely worth it. It's most definitely worth it. Looks solid to you from what you've seen. Nice. Coming from someone like you, Jaunty, I take that as a compliment. Yeah, because uh, if you think it's gotten good in terms of like its mechanics and graphical stuff now, they fix a lot of it in Dark Souls. Especially the rolling. They, they made the rolling more straightforward. I mean, the rolling here is ten times better than what it is in Remake. And I feel bad about that. Um, but there was a reason why I wanted to stream Dark Souls 2009 at least once on this channel. And I wanted I wanted to kind of give like a type of impression to Mr. Rumble Roses as to why. See, yes, I could I could play this off stream. I could play it, beat the hell out of it, even though the trophies here are technically fake because it's not. There's no way for me to connect this to PlayStation. But the reason why I wanted to stream this so bad versus playing it on my own free time is I won't really benefit from uh, playing it on my own free time because I've played it on my original PS3 and stuff like that. But um, I guess in terms of the streaming experience... I wanted you guys to experience the actual 2009 Demon Souls. Yes, the remake has its ups, has a few downs, but it has some ups. But I want you I wanted you guys to literally experience this with me where this was the prototype game itself that was the bridge between the ending of Kingsfield and the beginning of what would become the Souls formula. Like, you could watch somebody play it. You could watch me play the remake. You could even play the remake. But the remake did some things that were good, but did some things that were bad. And to people that probably play this later on in the future... You'll probably understand. It'll you, it'll it'll take some real good perception to see it, but the differences are there, you know. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end for today. I will take care of um, the streams and everything in terms of my mods. Don't even worry about all that. Um, I'm gonna do all that and everything like that. Um, but yeah, we are going to raid Mr. Sean the Human. Um, so yeah, can I get um, an exclamation point raid one, an exclamation point raid two in chat, please? Thank you very much. You guys will probably see a little bit of stalling going on right now because I clicked out of the game. So yeah. So I hope you guys will come for Wednesday when I play some uh, Bloodborne with Mr. Rumble Roses. <laughs> thank you so much for those raids those raid options there I'm going to go ahead and do my copy there alright let's go raid Mr. Sean the human yes let's go raid Mr. Sean the human yes and I will see you guys on uh, Wednesday um where I will be doing some Bloodborne with Mr. Rumble Roses. Mr. Shadowseed5 can also join in the Twitch chat and play some um, Bloodborne as well if he's feeling up to it. It's entirely up to him. I know he's not feeling very well right now. So, yeah. And uh, Mr. Chris, um, check your DMs in a little while. I'll send you some really nice packages that you can play around with and uh, stuff like that. But, yeah. I will see you guys on Wednesday for Soulsborne Wednesday where I'll be doing some Bloodborne with Mr. Rumble Roses. So as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am your friendly neighborhood game machine, and this was the beginning of Demon Souls 2009 original for PlayStation 3. And until I see everyone on the next video or live stream, peace out.
happy gaming, my friends. And please stay safe out there.